do me a favor. Don't seek revenge. Stop trying to seek revenge on the person who lied on you, on the person who hurt you, on the person who abused you, on the person who invalidated you, on the person who tried to degrade you. Don't seek revenge. This is how you handle a person who has tried to just demoralize your character. You go become better. You become a better version of you. You take all that negative energy and focus on becoming a better version of you. You take that energy and you go find your purpose. If you know your purpose, go, go work in your purpose. Don't waste your energy trying to seek revenge on someone who tried to tear your character down. I don't care who it is. Don't seek revenge. Because when you seek revenge and when you try to do tick for tack, that only keeps you in the cycle. That keeps you in a cycle, a perpetual cycle of negativity that you are inviting into your own life. Don't speak ill of them. Don't wish them any harm. That's not the way God wants you to be. If you are on a spiritual journey, you would understand why you cannot speak harm on those who tried to kill your character. Because God said, vengeance is his, it's not yours. Don't seek revenge. He said that for a reason. And let me tell you why he said that. He said that because he has a law in place that's called reaping and sowing. I don't care how bad you hurt. I don't care how bad you hurt. But if you do a person how they done you, you're going to reap, you're going to reap that. You're going to reap. So let them sow the seeds that they are going to reap back. Learn how to speak well of people. Learn how to say, you know what, it just didn't work out. And leave it as that. You don't have to slander a, per a person who you disconnected from. Because that reveals more about your character than the person you disconnected from. Speak well of them. You bless them. You pray that they prosper. Because by you praying for them, wishing well on them, that's going to come back to you. You let God do the vengeance. You let God do the work. You let him clap back. You don't clap back. You just sit back and watch what happens.